Who was Frank Herbert, author of Dune? Frank Herbert was born on October 8, 1920, in Tacoma, Washington. He spent his childhood on the Olympic and Kitsap peninsulas of northwest Washington and believed that living in the country rather than the city gave him more of a self-starter mentality. His father was agnostic, and his mother's side of the family was Irish Catholic. She had ten sisters, and they wanted Herbert to be raised Catholic. So even though his father protested against this, the aunts got their way, and Herbert received a Jesuit education. This influence can be seen in Dune through the characterization of the Bene Gesserit, a group of women who operate in similar ways to the Jesuits, with their missionary and education programs and their significant political influence. In high school, Herbert enjoyed journalism and the debate team, and these spurred his interest in newspapers and politics. After graduation, he pretended to be older than he was to get hired as a copy editor at a newspaper. He then went on to work in different roles and at other newspapers. He enlisted in the U.S. Navy in July 1942 and served as a photographer and office worker for less than a year before an injury led to an early honorable discharge. He met and married Flora Parkinson within the space of a few months in 1941, and they had a daughter named Penny the following year, but Flora wrote to him while he was in the Navy wanting a divorce. It was his second spouse, Beverly, who would come to have a significant influence over his career and life trajectory. Beverly Ann Stewart was a young writer whom he met at a creative writing class at the University of Washington in 1946. They bonded over literature and history and were married later that year. Herbert took classes in psychology, math, and English, but only spent a year at the university because he wasn't allowed to skip introductory classes and was pressured to choose a major. Their first son, Brian, was born in 1947 in Seattle, and a couple years later they moved to California. In Santa Rosa, California, they made friends with the psychologists Irene and Rolf Slattery, who gave Herbert ideas about psychological theories from Freud and Jung and Zen teachings that he would later incorporate into Dune. Irene had herself studied under Jung in Zurich, and she had also heard Hitler speak in Berlin in the 1930s, and sharing her stories with Herbert helped kindle his idea about the danger of heroes. Herbert and Beverly's second son, Bruce, was born in 1951. As Brian Herbert explains in his book, Dreamer of Dune, both he and his brother had a rocky relationship with their father as children and adults. Herbert's science fiction stories began being published in magazines in 1952. The series Under Pressure was turned into his first novel, The Dragon in the Sea. As a child, Herbert had read stories from H.G. Wells, Jules Verne, and Edgar Rice Burroughs. Once he became a science fiction writer himself, he met other writers and hosted them and their spouses at his home in San Francisco, including Robert and Ginny Heinlein, Paul and Karen Anderson, Isaac Asimov, and Jack and Norma Vance. He and Vance even took a trip to Mexico with their families and worked on their writing. Herbert worked in other writing jobs as well. Working as a speechwriter for Oregon Senator Guy Corden took him to Washington, D.C., where he was able to attend some of the Army McCarthy hearings in 1954. He also worked as a ghostwriter for a nationally syndicated column by S.I. Hayakawa, a key figure in the area of general semantics. These roles gave him insight into politics and linguistics and how language can be used to manipulate people. Beverly was always very supportive of Herbert's writing, and her work as an advertising copywriter helped support the family financially so Herbert could take time off from newspaper work and focus on writing. She helped keep Herbert organized with an ingenious filing system and was his guardian angel who protected him and his writing time at all costs for almost four decades. She was also Herbert's first reader and critic and helped him with his writing by assisting with plot and characterization, particularly the motivational aspects of female characters. Her influence can be seen in his more well-rounded characterization of women and the Bene Gesserit, and especially the Lady Jessica, who was modeled after her. After being published in magazine form in 1963 and 64, Dune as a novel had trouble finding a publisher, but it went on to become a classic in the counterculture and in general society, and the best-selling science fiction novel of all time. It also was the first novel to win both the Hugo and Nebula Awards. Dune shows Herbert's interest across a broad range of topics, from religion to ecology and the environment, from politics to linguistics and psychology. He kept engaged in world affairs through continuing to work in a variety of jobs at newspapers and elsewhere. One job took him to South Vietnam to study environmental issues related to land, farming, and overpopulation, as well as report on the war effort. He gave writing conferences and lectured at universities, including the University of Washington. One of his dreams was to set up a living environment that was as self-sufficient as possible. 
1972, he and Beverly bought a home slash farm in Port Townsend, Washington, where he ran what he called his ecological demonstration project with a solar power system, prototype windmill, methane fuel generator, orchards, vineyard, vegetable gardens, poultry house, and pond. They were not able to continue the project because Beverly was diagnosed with inoperable terminal lung cancer in 1974, but she beat the odds and lived another decade. To make a living as a full-time writer, Herbert had to keep producing, so he continued writing and co-writing books and stories in the science fiction and other genres, though he was also involved in other projects. He kept exploring the Dune universe he had created, and ultimately gave even more prominence to the women of the Bene Gesserit in the final two books. In December 1984, a film version of Dune directed by David Lynch was released, which Herbert had helped work on, and popular interest in Dune was rekindled. But this year brought heartbreak as well, since Beverly had died in February. She predicted that he would fall in love with a younger woman, and indeed, Herbert remarried the next year to a young book representative he had met while on tour, Teresa Shackelford. But he died the following year in Madison, Wisconsin, after complications from cancer treatments. The last book in his Dune series would be Chapter House Dune, which Beverly had requested that he finish after she was gone, and this book left a cliffhanger ending. Herbert continues to influence future generations through the legacy of his writing, especially Dune, whose themes and messages remain just as relevant, if not more so, in the 21st century.